Hi, I'm Alfie Holland from Prospect Society Recruitment and I'm here with David Cooper from Bluefinity and today we're going to talk about RESTful services with MV.net hopefully. David, yes. thank you for joining Hi. me. Hi, welcome. Love to be here. Lovely. We are going to talk about RESTful services. We are, we? yes. Lovely. Could you start off by explaining what REST is to me? Yes, REST. I I'm sure lots of, of the viewers have um, heard of REST already, you know, representational state transfer. Mm -hmm. um, first defined by a guy called Roy Fielding in uh, 2000 in his uh, PhD thesis and uh, REST is really it's an architectural style and okay. it describes a way of um, constructing client server communications and um, it's been picked up and used very heavily in the, the internet HTTP world and, um, and, and it's been used to architect uh, web services that are reached over HTTP. Okay. Now, I think there's quite a few multi-value REST services out there. Yeah, there are. So, what's what's different about Bluefinity? Um, I think the, the the main thing that differentiates um, the way that we've gone about mm -hmm. implementing RESTful services is the fact that it's all, at the end of the day, driven from this entity modeling tool that we have within the product. So we've got one part of MV.net which is called Solution Objects which is our entity modeler and that allows you to describe the content of your database as a series of objects. Okay. And that's been in the product for two or three years. And so what we've done is to extend the Solution Objects side of things so that you can say well okay I've got these objects can I please expose those as a, okay. a RESTful service and MV.net will uh, generate an entire Visual Studio solution that exposes the bits of your entity model that you want exposed over a RESTful service. So it's an extension? It is, yes. Not quite logical? Yes, thing. that's right. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and it fits in, it's been a very easy thing for us to do because it just fits in so well with the whole idea of entity modeling. Okay. What sort of things have you seen people doing with? Um, there's a, a number of different things that people that we see people do mm. with uh, RESTful services. Um, the, the first one is to um, use the RESTful service as uh, the, uh, the single point of access to their multi-value database. So even on you know, internal systems, people build these RESTful services that their uh, internal applications go to to, to get out the, uh, the database content. We see a lot of people are using RESTful services to supply mobile applications with data. And um, you know, that is probably you know, used by 98% of mobile applications that reach out to a data source is to go through a RESTful service. It's very, very common. And then the third thing that we see is the adoption of RESTful services for EDI. You know, we've got computers talking to computers. And that um, you know that exchange of data over a RESTful service interface. So quite a number of uses, really. Very much so. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. That was David Cooper from Bluefinity on RESTful services.